What's going on, guys? It's Benson Fear, and I'm back with another Stanley Cup playoff sim for the second round. And thankfully, my Bruins came out on top in Game 7 last night. Shout out to 2013 when we did the same exact thing. Three goals in 11 minutes in the third period. Like, that's just wild, dude. It was a wild game. Awesome to watch. Just so hyped. But let's get back into the video. I'm going to do one of these videos for every single round of the playoffs. Uh, if you haven't already realized, I did one for the quarterfinals. So we're just going to get right into this. I will give you my predictions on the series. So Winnipeg versus Nashville. I have Winnipeg winning it in game seven. It's going to be a very skilled, tight contest. And it's going to come down to the wire. Um, San Jose versus Vegas. Vegas... Honestly, I just have them coming out on top, and it's probably, I'm guessing, game six, possibly game five. Um, they're both very skilled teams, but Vegas just has the better hand, naturally. Uh, Boston versus Tampa Bay. Looking at how the regular season went, and just now that they have some a little momentum, they have actually Boston winning it in game five. Throughout the season, Boston beat... Tampa in every single every single game that they played one against one another. And Boston has momentum. And naturally, it's just Tampa kind of fell off towards the end of the season. So I don't yes, they beat uh, New Jersey in their series, but no offense to New Jersey fans. It's honestly New Jersey though. You're playing a wild card team. So um, and then Pittsburgh versus the Capitals. I actually have the Penguins coming out and winning it in game six yet again looking at stats and how everything is and obviously the whole playoff gameplay like the, just how they are naturally i just have the penguins winning it and i'm gonna say yeah game six the capitals will push and shove and get in there a little bit but i don't have them making it past this round so what we're going to do is we're going to sim up what we have. We're going to go all the way to the finals and just see what their prediction, NHL prediction based off these current quarter or semifinal teams, and we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to sim up the entire first round. Actually, I'll sim up every round, uh, game by game. And then when it comes down to the very last game before the next series, I will stop, we'll go over it, and then we'll come back and do this continuously. So give me just one second, guys, and I will be right back. All right, guys, so this could potentially be the last game of the series. Um, just going over it real quick. It has Nashville in five games, San Jose in five, and then it actually has Tampa coming out in five. So completely opposite of everything I said, which it's the simulation in NHL. It varies every time. You could do the same matchups. I did the first round simulation about four different times. Every time came out different. So it's... It's not always, obviously it's not accurate, it's a video game, but, I mean, it, those are all fair possibilities. Uh, well, the Nashville one, that yeah, it's a possibility, it'd be tight. I don't see all these series being that close. Maybe the Tampa-Boston one, it just kind of, it's whoever gets the most momentum and just consistency. Like, Game 7 last night for Boston, it started off very shaky, both sides. And Tampa, or, I'm sorry, Toronto came out and just... Patrick Marlowe had a great game. I give props off to him. He deserves a lot more than what he gets, you know. So, but the whole game was shaky. And then eventually the Boston came out and just started playing. And I don't see that series being so easily taken by Boston. And the Vegas series, I don't see them getting wrecked by San Jose. San Jose is very good this season. And... Yes, they'll do well, but I don't think they're going to come out. Same thing with Winnipeg. Winnipeg has been nasty. So is Nashville. That series out of all three, I see just being the tightest out of them all. Um, and then, like I said, it's the last series. Penguins versus Capitals. I honestly have the Penguins coming out and winning it. Um, we're going to sim up this game and see if it takes us to the next series. Maybe Capitals will come out and win this one. And nope, actually Penguins are going to take in five. So it's kind of close with that one. All right. So obviously we've got San Jose versus Nashville. San Jose, or sorry, Nashville will definitely take this series. No offense, San Jose fans, but you are not beating Nashville. Like it's not happening. We can, 
we can argue about it all day. Not going to happen. And then Pittsburgh versus Tampa. That's, eh, no, nah, that's kind of, I'm going to go with Tampa on this one just because of their play style. Um, but Pittsburgh will put up a good fight. That's not a, that's not a, that's another one of those tight matchups that they're both very good, like offensively and defensively. They have a lot of skill and they have the same, they play kind of rough, but they're not like overly like Boston is and a couple other teams. So yeah, we're going to say Nashville. I don't think they'll sweep, but probably five games. And then Pittsburgh will lose probably in six. I don't think he'll beat a game seven. Maybe yet again, another tight series possibility. But let's just sum up these games and see what NHL has to say about it, guys. All right, guys. So apparently San Jose is going to beat Nashville in five games. Frankly, I don't believe that whatsoever, but yet again, NHL, they always go for the underdogs. It always seems to work out that way. It's just kind of, it's just not going to happen. Let's be real. That I don't even see San Jose making it to the conference finals, but um, like I predicted, it, Tampa is up 3-1 in the series and could take it right now. Um, like I said, Tampa just has a little more to them and they're a little bit better. Let's just sim up this game and maybe they'll take the series right here. A little simulating. It looks like, yeah, okay, sure enough. Tampa takes it. San Jose versus Tampa. Tampa, guaranteed, not going to lose to San Jose. But how NHL works, just based off the simulation so far, Tampa is going to, or Tampa is some way going to choke and just lose it, and San Jose is going to get the cup. Um, we're going to sim up to. Whoever's got the three-game lead, and then we will actually sim up by periods of the last couple games based on who's got the lead, and we'll see what happens, guys. All right, guys, so we're sitting here, and like I predicted, San Jose is going to somehow come up and get a 3-1. So, yeah, it's game going into game five, and San Jose's up in a series 3-1. So we're going to change it up. We're going to actually simulate the game. We're going to go start off by periods. Uh, let's switch to goals real quick. Nope, shots again. All right, so let's just sim up the first period. San Jose up 2-1. Stamkos getting a goal and Joe Thornton and Meyer getting a goal. Ooh, that's not looking good for Tampa. Let's just sim up the next one. 3-2. Meyer getting another one. Callahan getting one. All right, so the third period, we're just going to sim the speed and get the time going and Hopefully Tampa can actually come out and, okay, right there, look, power play goal. Oh, no, nope, that wasn't a power play goal. We got power play afterwards, okay. So 3-3 three, three with 15 minutes, they can still do that. I mean, there's still a good chance that they can win this game. And Evander Kane, who's been nasty in the series, and Don Scoy both scoring. So 5-3 with less than 11 minutes left. That's Frankly, I, I just think they're not – Tampa's not going to make that. Like, honestly, they just come out and I'm, the Sharks have just been scoring. Like, look at that. And they've got less than four minutes left. Shots are even, but it's – right now it's in favor of San Jose, obviously. Getting down to a minute and a half, minute left. They score. they got 57 seconds. They have to score. One second. Yeah, yeah. So that's a wrap, guys. Like, San Jose got the cup, which – I don't believe whatsoever will be the case. Um, we might as well look at stats and see who was the leading goal scorers, who did everything for the, the whole series, all the whole playoffs. So Joe Thornton being the leading point scorer, or leading point, yeah, point scorer, which kind of hard to believe. Joe Thornton's kind of not up there anymore. Joe Pavelski being right behind him, that's kind of believable. Stammer, another one, believable. Logue Pachur, really good season, can believe it. Kucherov getting 15 points, but only getting three goals. Eh, kind of, not so much. Uh, the assist, possibly, yeah. But less that little goals, I'm not thinking so much. Vander Kane getting 13 points, 10 goals. That's, yeah, that's believable. He's gotten a decent chunk of goals. He's been doing pretty well, so that's a possibility. Those are top six forwards of the playoffs, I mean. So we'll just... That's, hey, I don't really see it being any other way than that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and like and subscribe.
and you'll see my next video and I will see you guys in the next one. It's hard to believe because I'm coming and going. I mean, I come and I leave. And I swear I'm really not that shady. But you can't blame me for who I've met lately. Nowadays, chicks want to call it kid baby. As soon as they find out I rap, shit's crazy. But I do play along, yo, I can't front. I give in to every groupie with a fat butt. London to Japan, Hong Kong to Iran. Chicks say I'm the man.